Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and we want to look at lesson four, family of curves. Um, family of curves lesson is actually in your workbook, page 90. I skipped over a lesson, so you're going to want to go and find that. Let's take a look. If a parabola has the roots two and four, then we know that that means that x equals two and x equals four were values that allowed the equation to equal zero. Okay, so if that's true, then if I think about it, that x equals 2 and that x equals 4, I just want to take another piece of paper. So if I tell you that the roots are 2 and 4, then I'm going to tell you that at some point it was x equals 2 and it was x equals 4. And then if I bring this 2 over to the other side and bring that 4 over to the other side, it becomes x minus 2 equals 0 and it becomes x minus 4 equals 0. I can put brackets around this. And leading to the next step, I must have had x minus 2, x minus 4 equals 0. I must have had that at some point. Now what that means is that I'm looking for the quadratic that has those two x-intercepts. These are real roots, okay? two distinct real roots, so I've got two distinct x-intercepts. Now we know that there's going to be an axis of symmetry at x equals 3. Okay, I didn't have to use the minus b over 2a in this case um, because I was given the root, so I can just find it halfway between. Now, there's a bunch of, of um, curves, parabolas, that will have these two as roots. Look, here's one. Whee! Whee! Here's another one. Whee! Whee! Here's another one. Whee! Whee! Here's another one. Wee! Wee! Yes, I think it's important that each graph gets its own wee sound. Okay, notice that all the vertexes are lying on the axis of symmetry. They all have the two x-intercepts, which means they all have the two real roots. And as you know, if I'm going to talk about these, they all have different widths and they open up, they open down. So the family of all of these curves. So every one of these curves that belongs to a family, it's going to look like this. y equals d x minus 2 x minus 4. And those are all the quadratics that will have these two as real distinct roots and they're going to lie on that axis of symmetry but this d values allow th allows them to be skinnier, allows them to be fatter, allows them to open up, allows them to open down and there is a ton of them. There's a family of them. Think about Christmas. Think about Easter. There's tons of people everywhere. If I want to know one particular member of this family, I need to know one other point on the curve. Any other point. So let's say I wanted to know this guy. This is Uncle Jack. So let's say I wanted to know Uncle Jack. Well, I'd have to know one other point on him. And let's say that that point was 5, 3. I made it up. Don't, don't be worrying about where I got it from. I made up the 5, 3. It seemed to be past 4, and it looked like it was up a little bit. So I made this up. Notice, if I know this point lies on that curve, that's my x value. That's my y value. If I plug this in down here, okay? So if I have my 3 equals my y value, and if I leave my d, but I know my x value is 5, Notice what can happen here. I can determine, divide both sides by 3, I can determine that for this one, Uncle Jack has a d value of 1. So this particular curve, that one right there, that red one is given by y equals 1, x minus 2, x minus 4. Now this guy, this guy's going to be different because he's going to have a different point that it goes through. And this one will be different, because he has a different point that he goes through. And this one will be different. They'll have different values here. So this would be the specific curve. This will be the family of curves. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what I've just done is explained this entire sheet. So you can read through this, and this is everything that I just did with you. So please take a look at it. Go through it. You're going to notice that there's a family of curves. Now, we use D here. In grade 10, you used an A. Deal with it.
We're going to use a D in this case. Um, and that's going to allow you for um, opening up, opening down, being wider, being thicker, and all that jazz. Notice what it says here. To determine the equation of a specific quadratic, so rather than the family, if I want a specific quadratic, I need to know one point on the quadratic. It's not good enough just to know its roots. The roots are good enough to get the family. But if I want to know the specific member of the family, I need his coordinates. Or hers, not being sexist here. Either one, it could be. All right, so let's do some examples. So for period one, you saw this example already. For period two, you did not. This will be new. Shocking. It'll be fine. We will get through it. All right, let's break down this question. Look what I have here. Let's make it so that you can read it. There we go. Nice. Determine the family. Family. So there's going to be a D value, an unknown D value. Determine the family of quadratic equations with the roots 3 and negative 7. And then, that was my phone, and then determine the exact equation for a parabola with the same roots but passing through this point. So there's two questions here. One is asking for the family. The other one is asking for a specific point. So let's start off with the family. The family of curves with roots 3, comma, negative 7. Well, let's work backwards. That must meant that x equals 3 and x equals negative 7. Equal, I'm not sure what that was, but that's okay. Now, move this over to the other side. Move this over to the other side. It's going to be x minus 3 equals 0. It's going to be x plus 7 equals 0. Now, when I brought this over to the other side, it left a gap here. So I subtracted 3 on both sides. It left me with a 0 on that side. Same over here. So that means the family of curves will be all of them that have the roots like that. It's beautiful. It's easy. There's the family. Hey, family, how you doing? Now, we could also show it like this. That's a good family, too. One's in expanded form. One's in factored form. Let's say that. Factored form. Let's say this. Expanded form. The question will tell you which form to put into, or you can choose. All right? Okay, so those is for the family. How about the second part of this question? The second part of this question asks for da -da -da -da, the specific curve. So using the family equation, y equals, now I can choose either the factored form or the expanded form. I have someone watching here. I'm going to ask them. You want to use factored or expanded? expanded? Expanded is what he's saying. So we're going to use D equals X squared plus 4X minus 21. And we're going to use the specific point. The point was 2 common negative 27. Some people ask me, where did I get that point? It's in the question. I can't just make that up. Okay? So this is your X. This is your Y. So what happens is you get negative 27 equals D. And we put a 2 in everywhere there's an x. 2 squared plus 4 times 2 minus 21. That's going to be negative 27 equals d. 4 plus 8 minus 21. That's going to be negative 27 equals d, negative 9. Divide both sides by negative 9. That's what we're doing here. And you're getting 3 equals d. Ha ha! You know the specific value for the family of curves. This one has d equals 3. When the point is 2 comma negative 27 goes through that curve, you know that it's going to give you y equals 3, x squared plus 4x minus 21. Now I can represent that in even more expanded. I could do 3x squared plus 12x minus 63. I really don't care but the question will put it in different ways. If it says in simplified expanded form, you put it in this form. It is, if it asks for it in factored form, da 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 da, it's gonna look like this. 
All right, there you go. There's the first one done for you. Let's go and do the second one.